Hey, Anchor Doug. Welcome to episode 37 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is on replacing all of our starter tools. So as you can see down here in my um, list inventory, you can see all of these tools need replacing. Now the first one we're going to start with is the pickaxe because it's the most, in my opinion, it's the most important to replace. It's the very first tool you should definitely replace at the first opportunity you're able to. Obviously that's down to the quality level of the ores that you've got as to high. The higher you can make your pickaxe, the better. I'll explain after I've made it and read a little from the Wormpedia. In this episode, I'm only going to be reading a little from the wonderful Wormpedia with regards to the pickaxe. For all the rest of the tools we're going to make, you'll see we are simply go through making them and uh, just so the job is done, and then we can discard all of these starter tools. In Worm Online, I would recommend you keep all your starter tools because it will help you get skill gain better because the slower a skill takes the more skill gain you get from it. In Worm Unlimited of course as we all know by now it's much quicker so it doesn't really matter. But we will see as we get to the different tools if there's anything that I need to mention although I don't believe there really is. So right okay I've got the forge heated up let's just check we have enough fuel in it. Yep the fire's burning. I, you'll see I've noticed now that I've managed to get my forge to quality level 41. Ideally I want to try and get it to 70 but that's still a long way off. There's just so much to do. And I know a lot of you have probably bypassed this stage but remember this series is an index and this uh, episode will be called Replacing Your Starter Tools. So it's for a new player and you can jump straight to this video at any point. You're all no doubt going off in different directions, so there is so many directions you can take. Anyway, once we've done all of our starter tools, then we're going to do two more tools. We're going to do a needle and we're going to do some scissors. So let's get started anyway with our pickaxe. So let's bring up the crafting window and the recipe window and let's start by finding the, oh, it'll help if I spell it right. The pickaxe. Okay, so you all know by now we start by making a pickaxe head and we want the iron. So we're going to need the small anvil and an iron lump. And remember, we will use a low quality iron lump because, just to recap on that, the lower quality quality lump we use, the lower quality the tool, that we can then improve our improving skill by imping it up. So anyway, now we have that, let's add the uh, iron pickaxe to the crafting window. And let's now choose the pickaxe head. There it is. And let's create one. You'll see this is all good on the progression path. I know some of you, like I say, have already jumped ahead, but that's okay. This is really for the players which are just still starting out. I don't know which direction you'll take watching all the videos. You might jump from 1 to 10 to 20 to 30. It's just an index. And sorry for the break that I've had uh, by the way, you've noticed there's been a few days that have passed. It's simply that I'm trying to build up resources in order to continue some of the episodes. Wood is the longest. I mean, I've planted, I'm, I may show you if I have time in this episode, what I've done in preparation for the next episode and for further episodes with regards to wood. You'll notice this I'm struggling to make, which is because we are using the weapons head smithing skill. Finally, we have ourselves a pickaxe head. Okay, right, now let's find the pickaxe and make our pickaxe. There we are. So if we take a look, now it's a shaft and a pickaxe head. So we can put our lump back in the forge, we can put our small anvil back, and we can grab a shaft, 
the, qual the wood doesn't matter because it's iron. Now let's add our iron pickaxe. And there we go, let's now create. Okay, we now have an iron pickaxe. Notice the difference between the starter one and the one we just made. The one we just made, of course, we can improve. So what do we do with the starter one? We don't drop it, okay? With the other tools, we're gonna drop them. But for the pickaxe, I'm first going to switch to Wormpedia, then I'll explain why we do not drop the starter pickaxe. Okay, let's just quickly switch to Wormpedia. Okay, I'm just going to read some of the notes from Wormpedia, which are just useful to mention in this episode. Underneath usage, first of all, it's got you can use it for mining, prospecting, and analyzing, that you all know. Next, it's got, it is rather effective as a weapon compared to other tools in the absence of a real weapon. Well, when we get to the fighting episode, which will be after the next episode, we can then uh, demonstrate that. Uh, underneath usage on Wormpedia, continuing on, may be activated to see if a mine tile is flat or not and also slope levels on tile borders as with the shovel so what that's just saying there in your mine the floors go up and down you can use cement to uh, level them out uh, by activating your pickaxe and right clicking or, or hovering over the floor I don't know we'll take a look at it when we get into the mine at a later episode you'll see you can see whether it's flat whether it's sloped and you can change the slopes Okay, carrying on, under notes, there is no penalty for failure in creation of an iron pickaxe. Note that uh, there are three versions of the pickaxe. A normal version, which can be improved, it can be made from iron, steel, serral, glimmer steel or adamantine. A wooden pick starter pickaxe, which cannot be improved but does not drop upon death. And a crude pickaxe, which can be created with a pickaxe head made of stone which I've already covered in the crude tools. So there we go, I just wanted to read all of them notes. Maybe someone's picked something up from that, maybe not, but you know you've always got the wonderful Wormpedia to fall back on. Okay, now let's explain then why you don't drop your starter pickaxe. The starter pickaxe I use for my really low quality rock tiles. When I'm mining in the mine, if it's a low quality uh, rock tile, rock rock face, whatever you want to call it, I'll use my low quality. If it's a low quality ore node like iron and I just want to make nails and junk items, then I'll use my low quality pickaxe. Why am, why am I not using my, well, I'll get it to 30 quality level, this one that I've just made, but why don't I want to use the good one? Because I don't want to lower the quality level of it. I will only use that for higher quality level nodes, whether it, whatever metal it is or I will use my good one for the higher quality my low one for all the lower qualities so though for now though because it does weigh too I'll keep it in my cart there we go right moving on let's now make a shovel so we'll go in here okay we first need to make our shovel blade which is the large anvil this time, and an iron lump. So let's grab our iron lump, let's add the shovel blade, let's add the large anvil, and now let's find the shovel blade. There's the shovel blade, let's now create. Excellent, that one didn't mess around, didn't take long. Right, okay, just quickly notice up here, by the way, I should have mentioned this, notice that I'm getting you into good habits. You will have two lumps of each quality that you're able to get up to, and you'll split them between equal weights. Remember, in a cauldron, you can fit up to, fir uh, up to 63 quality, 63 weight. So what I've done is, you can have two, a 32 and a 31, which is what I've done there in that first quad. Uh, cauldron. So I've got my 40s, my 30s, my 20s, my 
really it's 10 to 19 but I don't do it if it's under 15 if it's under 15 I pull it in the this scrap which is the lumps down below so there we go and remember to have two of each because when you're working with one if it cools down you can drop it back in the um, forge and grab the other one that you've got in there that way it's all about saving time we don't want to have delays so there we go as we're not really improving in this episode because we did that in the last episode let's put that back in there off camera of course I will improve all these tools I'm hoping after the last episode everything around you is now at least 20 quality level right let's carry on with our shovel okay so here we go it's just listed as shovel so we need a shaft let's grab our shaft let's now add the shovel there we go and create Okay. What skill are we using now? I think it's just blacksmithing. There we go, we now have the shovel. Uh, again, I'll put that in the forge, ready for improving. What will I do with this shovel now? I'll simply drop it. It's had its day, and that's it. There we go, creating a pile of mess now, but that doesn't matter. Right, okay, next, let's make ourselves a hatchet. So, in the crafting window, let's bring up the hatchet. So, first of all, let's find the hatchet head. Let's close that. Okay, so iron lump, small anvil. Grab the small anvil, add the hatchet head, find the hatchet head. There it is. And create. There's lots of different axes in the game, you'll know, but the um, hatchet is the best one for cutting wood, and that's quoted straight from Wormpedia, in case you ask me why. It is just the best one, it lists. Okay, we're using now again weapon smithing, I believe, weapons head smithing, so be prepared for failures. I'm hoping that I can get all these tools done in this episode. Right, we've got our hatchet head. Okay, so next let's find the hatchet, which is here. Yeah, it does tell you at the end there actually, I'm just blind when I'm doing these videos. I don't often see what's right in front of me. It does tell you the skill used over here make life nice and simple right let's grab a shaft let's add the hatchet and let's create the hatchet okay we now have an iron hatchet let's put that in the forge ready for imping this hatchet now um, yeah we drop that now that's done and dusted away it goes right next let's make a saw Okay, now for the saw, small anvil and iron lump. Well, we got them in our pocket, so we add that to the crafting window. And now we find the saw. Notice it's not under the tool parts. That's only the tools with the heads. This one comes under tools. So saw, there we go. Let's now create our saw. This is using blacksmithing. Okay, we now have our saw. We'll put that in the forge and we will drop our other saw. Great, right, now let's make a rake. See, it doesn't take long. Where we spend the time is improving all these tools, as you're going to see. Right, so now we need a rake blade. So there's our rake blade, small anvil and an iron lump. So add that to the starting window. And under tool parts, let's find rake blade. There it is. Let's create our rake blade. This uses, um, oh, blacksmithing. I thought that was weaponsmithing, but no, it's blacksmithing. Right, okay, now we need a shaft. Add the rake to the crafting window. And let's create our rake. 
the if you look on Wempedia, the rake, the only thing it says with the rake is it improves the, the uh, timer on the action. So when you farm or harvest, it affects that timer. In Worm Unlimited, you won't notice the difference, it's too quick. In Worm Online, trust me you will. The higher you can get your rake, the better. Okay, so right that's all of our starter tools which off camera once I finish recording I'm going to improve them all up as high as I can I am going to get into my blacksmithing I haven't really done much as of yet you'll see it's still low but I do want to get that high because that's an important skill right now let's make a needle and some scissors because the next episode will be on cloth tailoring and specifically making cloth armour. The reason we're going to make cloth armour is so that we can then go on to doing the next episode which will be fighting. So okay, we need to make a needle. Now the first thing to mention about the needle is every skill has an item or items which are very easy to skill up that particular skill. For blacksmithing, beyond a shadow of a doubt, making needles and improving them is the best way to get your blacksmithing up so what uh, you could do what i may do is make 20 needles and then improve them all up and that will get my blacksmithing really high why needles because you will see when we make this needle that it uses a tiny little bit of iron so thereby you use hardly any iron and you're able to get your skill nice and high you can make a copper needle we'll stick to iron Okay, so we need an iron lump and a small anvil, which we have. Let's add the needle. There we go. And let's set that to one, because we don't want to do lots. In fact, you know what? I don't care. Let's do lots. Now, notice the lump, how much it uses. See, it's using 0 0.01 per needle, as you can see there with its weight. Well, actually... Yeah, so it's so, so minimal how much you use that that is the best way for training up your blacksmithing because you can do 20 of them and start improving them all and hardly use any iron. Right, let's now make some scissors, which is one of the tools that we'll need for cloth tailoring. So down here, let's find our scissors. There we go. So for this we need iron we need to do the blade first which is iron lump and anvil which we've still got notice that when we made the needle we got lots of scraps well because this is our scrap pile we can just combine them all so there we are right okay let's now add the scissor blade find it under the blades scissor blade there we go and we only want one going to use weapons head smithing I believe oh no blade smithing of course another difficult skill but we got our blade so that's good right let's make the scissors so oh, of course we need two of them <laughs> only tool ever made that I'm aware of where you have to make two to make the one complete tool so two scissor blades will make one complete pair of scissors Okay, so now add the scissors and create. And there we are, we'll put them in the forge. So as you can see, lots of tools now for me to improve, which I will do. Again, I'll aim for 20. I could go higher perhaps, but 20 is a good quality level for you all to get to for our progression. So we now have two of the tools. The rest of them I will look into researching for the next episode and the next episode will be on cloth tailoring and specifically just cloth armour. We won't be touching any of the other tailoring yet. I shall separate them into different episodes. So one I haven't got a rush, two it's not it's easier for the indexing. Wherever you are in the world God bless you all and keep every last single one of you safe and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for joining me. Goodbye.